Welcome back, Space Cadets, to another episode of Fast Five. Well, let's get to it. Welcome back, Outer Space Gamers. We're back with another Fast Five. This time we're centering around the Avengers. And we're going to kick things right off with fast fact number one. So if you're new to the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the Avengers had two films thus far. First one, the Avengers 2012, and then Avengers Age Voltron 2015, leading us into the second sequel, Avengers Infinity War. So the Avengers, or Earth's Mightiest Heroes, formed to fight the foes no single hero could withstand. Its first appearance in the comics came out in Avengers number one, cover dating back to 1963. And to kick things off, we have fast fact number two. Remember when I used to do that voice? That was funny. <laughs> the Wasp, one of the original members of the Avengers, was the actual thought process behind the creation of the team's name, the Avengers. To kind of rendition things back to our first Fast Five, which was Captain America, uh, we kind of explained that the original Avengers of the comic isn't exactly like the movies. So you should go check that out if you want to learn a little bit more. But to go back into the, the fact, the original Avengers team member, Janet Van Dyne, a.k.a. the Wasp, was there with the right suggestion at the right time. In quote, It should be something colorful and dramatic, like the Avengers, or only to be interrupted by Ant-Man, or nothing. That's it. The Avengers, he announced. In the movies, however, we see that Nick Fury is the creator, quote-unquote, of the title for our superheroes, the Avengers. And to kick things off, once again, we have our favorite fast fact number three. So the, with the Avengers at the core of the Marvel Cinematic Universe, the franchise has gotten a big push in the comics over the past decade as well, spanning multiple different titles, multiple different takes on the characters and the team that expanded uh, the team's presence in the Marvel Comics lineup. But, you know, kind of going back into the Marvel Cinematic Universe itself, you know, there was such a global celebration around the first film that came out in May of 2012. Almost, you know, you know, getting fans to say, like, well, can the second sequel even top that initial reaction, you know, of seeing this team first assemble on screen and kind of that, you know, huge anticipation from it in phase one. You know, and so not only did the Avengers in 2012, you know, impact industry goals of where, you know, what can a movie do as a blockbuster, um, no matter what time of year, but also kind of mainstreaming nerd culture, quote unquote, and fandom to a different levels that have never been seen before. And now I'm back into things with fast fact number four. Not everyone originally accepted the call to be an Avenger. Two cases of this were the Daredevil and our itsy bitsy Spider-Man. Initially, both declined the offer to become a full-fledged Avenger. They wanted to focus on crimes close to them. But later, in the movies, uh, we see uh, Spidey, after rejecting the offer to join the Avengers in Spider-Man Homecoming, spoiler alert, so not only is there the connection in the comics, but there's also the connection in the movies. But in the trailer for Avengers Infinity War Part 1, we see our favorite hero Spider-Man swinging into action against the universal threat Thanos. On <laughs> Jeopardy Fast this five week. that actually takes 15 minutes to record. <laughs> <laughs> and to wrap things up, we have fast fact number five. So as we've kind of been doing in the spotlights thus far in our Marvel Madness to you, uh, to our space cadets and our new fans... Uh, we wanted to kind of merge not only the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but also what's happening in the current comic line out there for Marvel Comics. And so we wanted to kind of give you an insight into the current members of the Avengers in the comics. And so here is kind of the roster of that team right now. Luke Cage has his own series on Netflix as well. Captain America, not uh, the alter ego of Steve Rogers, but Bucky Barnes. Uh, Amadeus Cho, Iron Man, you know, alter ego Anthony Stark. Um, Yocasta, Mockingbird, you know, alter ego of Bobby Morris, Miss Marvel, uh, alter ego of Carol Dan Carol Danvers, Quicksilver, alter ego of Pietro Maximoff, Hawkeye, again, alter ego of Clint uh, Barton, Spider Woman, uh, alter ego of Jessica Drew, Spider Man, still the alter ego of Peter Parker, uh, Statue, um, alter ego of Cassandra Lang, Thor, Vision, Giant Man, uh, and then Wolverine, alter ego of James Howlett. As we kind of go deeper into Marvel Madness, you know, this coming Wednesday, we come out with uh, Guardians of the Galaxy. And so uh, if you uh, love uh, a quirky and strange team, you know, even Stranger Than Avengers, and you love some uh, sweet playing music, um, definitely check out this Wednesday's because Guardians of the Galaxy um, gives you all of those things and much, much more. And so as we uh, get wrapped up uh, and ready to go, this is Gramps uh, signing out. 
This is Super Saiyan, signing out. Oh, and our third counterpart, I'm not sure where he is right now, so... This uh, is Octopus, signing out. Oh, there he is. There uh, he is. Sounds like he's got a little bit of a cold. So, um, as we get ready to bring you the next one, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment on our videos. Uh, we're enjoying bringing Marvel Madness to you, and we will see you again on Wednesday uh, with Guardians of the Galaxy. Over and out, please, kids. The Daredevil. Perfectly bound. Valley Coast Pizza by the Seashore. That's all things should be.